Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Whatever Wednesday, which for now is like Woden's da dog or some stupid shit because we're playing Valheim Vikings. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I am having way too much fun with this game on my own time, so I can't like I, I can't not just play some of it on stream too. My my offline my offline file is way further ahead than we currently are, so I'm kind of like getting like. Kind of practicing for this kind of stuff on my own time. But yeah, we're going to play more Valheim today. But before we begin fighting trolls and dwarves and great dwarves and whatever, uh, we're going to... We're, I'm still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund. LGBTQ people are three times more likely to be jailed. And at risk of abuse, many can't afford bail and they help get us out. So, yeah, they they hit... They, Pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. <clears throat> if that sounds like something you'd want to contribute towards, I have a donation button below the stream that goes to my, the Tiltify page. I also have an exclamation point donate command that will take you to the same page. My chat bot will share that that link that um, command every thirty minutes. And when the stream come, the stream screen comes up on the bottom left corner, there will be a QR code that you can scan through the mobile device that will also take you to the Tiltify page. Any support you give to that is greatly appreciated. I don't see a single cent of it. I don't get any kickbacks to it. It's just so we can fundraise. I don't have to worry about doing anything other than streaming. It's really cool. I, I'm a fan, big fan of Tiltify. <clears throat> Anywho, let's see. All right. Behind. <clears throat> I was having a discussion, uh, I think, yes, yeah, it was yesterday when I was watching uh, Di Digi stream, and I, I'm currently not playing with any Valheim mods, but there's a few that I've been tempted to kind of look into maybe getting, like, especially ones that make gardening easier because that's probably something we're going to be getting into uh, like soon on this file that we're doing There it goes. It just took a second to kind of get up, get in there. All right. So that's my current file off for offline. <laughs> that's when I was playing with uh, Birdie and the birdhouse and such. And this is our little self-made file. And here's a strim. Strim. <laughs> Bibbity bobbity boo. Strim. I sure do love dipshits playing the the wizard game. People begging them not to because it supports a turf, and then people being upset because they're getting um, told that they're not being very good people for supporting a turf. You, you know, it, it's pretty easy to just not support a fucking turf. <laughs> So we're, we're, we're working more on this, uh, we, we, near the end of last stream, we expanded this room out some. I might expand it some more before we get too far into it. Let's, let's take a look. How much room, more room do we have? I mean, we can just make more room. We have a pickaxe. We can break this rock. We can cut this tree down. Let's sleep real quick. Before that, though, I want to check on these boars. Like, the tail end of last stream... Uh, 
Okay. Wait, one of them is... Oh, it was 91%. Okay. Alright, cool. We'll just leave that alone. I might not sleep, because that will make it to where whatever food that boar is currently um, chewing on there will have less of an effect, and we want to uh, not have that happen. <laughs> so, let's... Yeah, I think I'm gonna make this room a little bigger. <clears throat> Perhaps have it even link off to where a portal room could be. Um, I mean, we're not in the best place to have a base. That would be better if we had one uh, closer to the ocean. Oh, hello. Hello, Stinky. Give me a second, you pull the chat back up in case in case anyone's chatting or wants to chat you know now, these poison enemies are annoying right now we don't have much stamina because we don't have very good food Like, we're, we're, we're surviving mostly on deer meat <laughs> right now. I don't want to use berries. Because until we can get farming up, berries are kind of like our um, animal breeding stuff, along with mushrooms. But, you know. Yeah, we're going to want to move this stuff, like, over... away from the door so that we can have uh, more workstations nearby. Hmm. I could also make this one, this room, like, wider, but maybe by one. <clears throat> Yeah, let's make this wider by one for the next uh, thing we do. What food do we have? I probably should eat something for stamina, because... Is it this bottom chest? No, it's probably this top left chest. Yeah, it's top left chest for raws, raws. Cooked stuff. Oh, we're going to get rid... Oh, hey, the other boar tamed. Cool. Yeah, we're going to proceed to eat these necktails. Oh, woo. <laughs> and yeah, we'll just eat. We'll just kind of deal with that right now. I'm not that boar's tamed. I have no qualms with just going to sleep. Eight comfort for this little ass room. That's pretty good, honestly. There's probably a few more things I can squish in there. I don't know if yet though. Once we get the stone cutter, we could add the, uh, the, like, the bigger fire. Which would give us another, uh, comfort as well. But at that point, we're probably gonna redo our room situation a little bit, too. We could, we could make another base somewhere. Like, closer to the ocean, but... I'm fine with this. There's, like, a little river we could, like kind of engineer to be like a way to get in and out that sounds like a horrible idea <laughs> actually but I don't know we could always just do like a portal down to like the coast or something to go on a ship that way it's not the, it's not the end of the world that we don't have like the most conducive base to like a, a dock or whatever Um, 
Yeah, we, we can. Well, I'll get rid of these. I was gonna keep these bushes here for uh, flare, like just because I don't know. Bushes, boosh. But I think we're gonna. We'll fix our hammer real quick because it's a little. Oh, fucked. We've been building a lot. And while we're at it, let's cut down one of these big furs. Get some more wood. Wow, I, I, I miss having a better axe than just stone. I'll tell you that. It takes a while to cut this tree. Well, it's like a fence, I think. Yeah, it's a fence. I was like, what the hell is that? I was like, we're not that far enough yet where I think we start seeing Odin every once in a while. So, I was just like, hmm. Was I just breaking something completely unrelated? No, well, I was hoping the deer wouldn't see me. But I'm not that sneaky. I don't know how much troll hide stuff we can make yet. But, frankly, with how good troll hide is compared to bronze, I just, I just don't make bronze armor because troll hide's easier to make. You just gotta kill a troll, which is doable even if, like, you're wearing this you can just kill them with range uh, let's see. eight okay so we're gonna make this room just one lot wider these bastards are why I am um, Stop throwing! Sh How did you not see me? Whatever. I'll I'll take the kill. I'll take the free kill. Yeah, those bastards are why I'm uh are the strictly the reason why I am in the business of uh. And I'll just put that away so I can. Or why I have these walls like this? Cause they can and will just throw rocks like directly at your your animals and kill them are y'all are y'all hungry uh we can we can provide uh think like uh for now let's break this let's make this easier for us to use Red orbs aren't too threatening, unless there's a bunch of them where they get the drop on you and you don't have good stuff yet. And even then, they're still not super terrible. Yeah, I want this, and then we'll make another, like, wall. Just so that we don't have to deal with Make, it makes it easier for us to get in and harder for the gray dwarves to do anything to the boars. All right, and then we'll make a wood gate because these are wood gates are life and love. I love them; they're great. You don't bump your head. You don't. The camera doesn't bump your head against the fucking world when you use them. It's pretty sweet.
And what we're, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna feed these two boars and then just kind of let them breed throughout the rest of the stream. I think that means, we, yeah, we gotta get some raspberries or mushrooms or whatever. And now, there's almost no way that these gray dwarves are gonna be able to hurt my boars. There's just raspberries here. Cool. Oh. Can you fucking not? There are quite a few gray doors around here. Y'all are skittish as fuck. Wish petting them calmed them down. Cause there's there's like I don't think there's any other gray doors in the area. Hmm. Don't see any anyway. Alright, they're fine now. So let's go in here. Yeah, let's drop this food. They should be able to path to it, eat it, and then they'll be happy, and then for ten minutes they will be able to breed. Which should be able to just get us three more little uh, piglets. But, maybe not. How much stuff do we have? We've got 10 bronze, which that is enough to do um, the cultivator, which is something I do want to get. But I also need to extend the house a bit more. <clears throat> so for now we're gonna do that let's build that up we'll build uh, it's not necessary but I'm gonna keep using like this kind of stilt method here to just kind of keep everything nice and supported We're increasing everything by out by one, so we'll do that, and then we'll just add the little little, little stilts in. Okay, now we can add the stairs back in. Hmm, a little annoying to use. Uh, let's. Is that better? Kind of. All right, that's good enough. I can I can get up there without much difficulty, which is good. It's good. All right, seven. Let's go ahead and start adding the walls. That gives us a nice bigger area to add our bees to here. <laughs> Half bit here. Add the gate back in. Have it open that way because because there's very little problems. Okay, let's see. It's on seven. Start adding in more of these. There's like, I don't like using the corner roofs because they're kind of annoying to place. So I like to do just kind of roofs kind of like this. Okay, let's start breaking down these walls because they're... Gonna be in the way.
I do love how you just kind of get all your resources back when you're building and doing stuff like this. It's very, very player friendly. It could have been like a lot of other games made where you just like lose resources when you like break shit. But no, it's very friendly to a player, which is nice. Okay, so we've got those, and what we can do now is we can just use some of these uh, thatch roofs because they will meet up. They're like half a block high, so they will meet up in the middle, like so. I don't think it's strictly necessary, but we'll we'll add some sort of like bracing or something to this to make the move more stable. Oh, there's our first. There, the first child has been born. Okay. And we can do something like this, which will add at least some support. Oh, our hammer broke. That's fine. I must not have up. No, this thing's not upgraded at all. It's like, wait, why is this thing breaking so much? And the answer is, yeah. I have a better idea for. Do that, that will give a good amount of support, mostly. Bastard. I mean, I don't think it really matters support-wise these root for these roofs to be super supported because I mean, I'm not building anything off of these, so like, don't think it really matters all that much. But I could like run like a like a brace like this across the top here, but again, I don't think it really matters because like these are these are kind of like orangish reddish but like I'm not building anything off of them this doesn't really help I don't think so come on grab there we go <laughs> alright going to the store awesome I'm going to the store do you want anything um I don't know. You got a million bucks? <laughs> That'd be nice. But hey, thank, thank you so much for the resub. Appreciate ya. How are you doing? I haven't, I haven't seen you in a little bit. Let's move this torch over here. I'll check if the millions are in stock. Yeah, just... Just a casual million dollars. Something we are going to want to do is break this wall. Put up one of these. And then we can place one of these floors up here like so. Very well. That's fine. I understand. If you, if you wish to elaborate, please do so in my DMs or whatever. Otherwise, I understand. I hope that I can at least help you relax a little bit or something. Or laugh, because I'm stupid. I don't know. Something. <clears throat> We're working on our little house here. I'm gonna move this stuff against the wall. These little shelves up here are gonna be for holding uh, workstations that are kind of bigger than average. Like we're gonna move this stuff out of the way. Let's... I wanna see how close I can get this thing to just being in the corner, or just like smushed in the corner. 
that, and then we'll move this closer in response. Cool. That's probably about as tightly as I can pack that shit in there. <laughs> Um, while we're sitting here just goobly gawking, that's a word, uh, I need to be smelting some of this tin. Oh wait, I've got some stuff in there and I just need to add more charcoal. It's called coal, but it's 100% charcoal because, well, I'm we made it in the, the charcoal kiln. Wow, they're just, they're, they're popping off in here. They do not waste any time. I turned two raspberries into, fu into fu to three baby pigs. God damn. <laughs> well, that's some copper. Okay, well, that's fine. Copper. This uh, little chest array here still has room for uh, four chests there, and I could have another row of like six chests as well. So it's kind of our storage area. I think over here somewhere we'll have another doorway going off, and we'll, we'll, it's where we'll eventually have a portal room. Because you can have portals in this game, they're extremely fucking useful for just about everything you can imagine. It's very, very nice. Okay. I think we're almost the amount of leather scraps we need to upgrade our workbench again. Can we do anything with the troll hide? We can make some pants. Or tunic. Uh, let's see, we've got a leather pants, and we've got a rag tunic, which is like rag tunic is just awful so we're gonna make a troll leather tunic which will give us another five armor and start start working towards getting the set bonus to make us really sneaky plus it's blue da ba dee da ba die <laughs> We'll bung some more tin in there. We'll grab that copper. We'll put the rest of this tin away. So this our chest is for cooked meals, which currently that includes you, you, and we're just gonna. Usually, it's a bad idea to go all meat for your your meal stuff because meat things give more health than they do stamina. But right now, it's it's fine. We're not super diversifying our foods yet anyway. Speaking of... Nope, oh, wrong thing. <laughs> I usually have my hammer on five, so I'm going to just go ahead and move that. Like in my other file that I play on, I usually have it on five. <clears throat> so yeah, let's, let's see. We can... We can make these two for our uh, forge, but that's not really necessary yet. I don't think, at least. We are gonna just like move this though, cause uh, we'll leave some space on either side for workstations, and we can move all this stuff whenever we need to in the future. Because when you break something in this game, you just kind of get the resources from it back. So, it's really nice to be able to just redesign your home whenever necessary. All right, how much wood? We have like 12 wood left. That's not quite enough to really uh, do much with. Just bronze. One thing we can make out of bronze that we should make immediately. If I can find what all it all needs uh, 
Could have swore we could make the cultivator. I mean, we, I thought we found uh, some seeds already. Let's make, let's just, uh, am I missing something here? Let me see. Ah, I bet I know what the problem. I bet you have to have a tier two, a, a tier two uh, forge to be able to make the cultivator. That makes sense. That's fine. Drink some more coffee here. Unloading unused assets. What? <laughs> All right. I've never seen that before. All right. That got us a good amount of copper and tin. Let's load up our fur our smelter some more. Okay, we got that. We've got we've got two tin. We've got some copper as well. We need to make some upgrades so that we can build other things. Uh, five. Let's see. Um, honestly, the little anvils here costing two bronze is the cheapest upgrade we can do for our forge. So we're gonna do that. Actually, it's perfect because I'll leave us eight for the cultivator that we want to make. So. That could not literally be any more perfect, so let's do that. I'm just gonna slide that in there. Perfect. Okay, forge level two. Um, am I missing something here? Where's the cultivator? Um, there's plenty of other bronze stuff, but the cultivator's almost certainly supposed to be made in this workstation, you know. Um, give me a sec. I need to look this up on the wiki because it's being weird for... It's being weird. <clears throat> oh. That's probably why. It needs core wood, which I haven't actually chopped down a tree with core wood yet. Because, yeah. So let's see if we can find a pine. It's a fir. Normally I, I go after firs because they give you just a good amount of normal wood. But pines give you core wood and uh, normal wood. So we gotta find we got to find ourselves a pine tree. There's a deer. You, uh... Nope, oh, alright. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to work, but... Thanks for the stuff, dear. Fur. 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 Wow, the one time I actually want a bunch of... I, actually, one time I actually want core wood, I only find fur trees. That's, that's just my luck in pure view, I suppose. Uh, okay, we have enough weight to well, whenever we kill a tree, we'll get stuff. I'm gonna have to go like further afield in the for black forest here. Oh, that's another fur, more furs. It's like a fur con in here. It's like a furry con in here. Well, that's like two furs, like two furs, two inches apart. Oh, there's a troll. I don't think the trolls noticed me yet. We, we would hear it if it did. Yeah. As nice as it would be to have um, more, more troll armor, that's not really what I'm looking to deal with right now. Oh, let me guess. The pines are like right there next to the dam. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I 
that damn tree just go down oh it's going down all the way down apparently I guess the troll d decided it's time to fucking find see me. Oh boy, I'm, I'm really excited for this. We might be able to parry it. I've, I've been able to do it on my other file, but... Okay, I don't think... No, I don't have the stats to do that. So we're gonna, we're gonna drag this troll away from my base. <laughs> and try to deal with him with arrows. Clip some fire arrows and we'll just start. Oh well, I I was I was I was contemplating getting rid of that fence and now I'm definitely getting rid of that fence later. So that great dwarf is annoying the piss out of me right now. Come on, dude, swing. I could I could take advantage of this guy to get me help me get some copper, but I just want this guy to die so I can play the game. Cause the trolls can in can destroy terrain like like objects like that like rocks and trees and that includes the big copper deposits that you otherwise have to mine. We're just kind of kiting this troll, honestly. That being said, after we kill this troll, we will be able to, um... I do want to... Maybe I can maybe try a parry now. Oh, if I can equip my, my shield properly. Press the damn, the damn button. Because staggering this troll and attacking with my axe would be a lot faster way than running around in circles, but... Oh, no. Uh, I timed it wrong. <laughs> now the troll's gonna walk back that way. Oh, my arm is underneath me. No, oh, that looks painful. Don't recommend that. <laughs> yeah, I also don't recommend trying what I tried unless you're very good at the whole parrying thing. It... I'm not good at it in other games, and definitely not in this game either, so. Not exactly sure where the troll went. It's almost certainly definitely in the area, so it probably just like went back to like. It almost certainly went back to like just like its little home. Like wherever it was previously. Thankfully it didn't destroy any of my base. It's kind of why I dragged it away, but at this point I kind of well, I need food. So I'm going to have to To get some food before that troll comes back. Well, we'll eat one of these. And we have any other meat? No, nope, I used all of it. Well, in that case, we're just gonna have to make do with like a, I don't know, like a raspberry or something. Probably, probably a mushroom. Don't use those for much, so we'll do that. Let's get some let's get our rested boost. Uh, 
I'm gonna go try to find that troll. Cause at this point, it needs to die so I can get the get the troll hide to make better armor. Cause yeah, I might have been able to survive had I had <laughs> troll armor actually. I'm pretty sure it was like. Pretty sure. It, yep. Well, we can get a sneak attack on him. Yeah, at this point, we. I mean, I might have the troll try to mine me some copper since it's like kind of in this area anyway. I could probably trick it to kind of coming over this way and swinging. It'd be like up here. I gotta get up to. Up. Up. Hell, even just throwing rocks. Hey, asshole, what are you doing? Up. Oh. No, don't, don't do that. No, don't do that. Stop, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Hey, asshole. Stop destroying my Ford, my thing. Why? <laughs> did I just break, did I break its shit that b Stop it. <laughs> Why? Why do you like this? I'm literally... Why is this troll doing this? I'm right here, asshole. Come here. Come here. Are, are you... I... No, stop. S please. Kill me instead. It took me 30 minutes to tame those damn boars. <laughs> I think I just, like, broke its AI really bad when I tried... When I got up on this copper deposit, and it was just like... Why is it, the bird is just sitting like on top of the tree? What are you doing? Where are you where are you going, asshole? Oh shit. <laughs> Frankly, getting him to throw rocks is pretty good too. But I, I kinda want him to just start slam just cause slamming this shit, cause it's just a lot. Easier than me mining it myself. This will actually save me a lot of time. <laughs> what kind of rock was that? Jesus. Yeah, I'm not really that concerned about the gray doors right now. Although maybe I should be. Oh. I'm doing I'm doing silly shit. That I probably sh God damn it, troll! Stop bothering my boars. I think I'm out of fire arrows, so we're just using like the worst fucking arrows you can imagine. This is some scuffed shit. Go, go to sleep. There you go. God damn, are my boars still alive? I don't hear them. So I hope that they are. Ow. 
Asshole Grey Dwarves. Asshole Troll. Everything is just so mean to me. I don't... A, not a single one of them died. Okay. <laughs> I was afraid of the worst of them just getting perished. Something I do need to do is grab as much of this stuff that's around here as possible because things have a despawn timer and if it's the stuff that I got from all this carnage just despawns, it's not really going to be worth my time to, you know, have done this because it's just gone. Ugh. That does save me some time, though. Yeah, we're gonna just start dumping stuff off in this box at the moment. I don't really much care what goes in here. I just need this. I just need the the carry capacity to grab all this copper ore. I got kind of loosed from the earth. There's one there. Is there any down here? Five. I mean, it's not a lot of copper that the troll helped me get, but it's still more than that I don't have to mine myself. And plus, he damaged the shit out of the rocks, too, so. Some of the rocks are just easy, gonna be easier to break on my own now. Oh, yeah, there's some more stuff that was just kind of in there. Let's, let's mine this piece now. Uh, we should probably go drop some stuff off now. Also need to repair my, my base because it was getting kind of smacked around a little by that troll. I'm honestly surprised that the troll did not destroy the, the freaking... <laughs> the troll did not destroy the freaking little... Boar the boar zone. I'm very surprised at that one, not gonna lie. Yep, all right, seems fine. Thought the troll might have thrown a rock or something at my house. <laughs> All right, cool. I do like this multi-tiered house design I have on this file. I don't really build too often like this where I have like multiple like kind of tiers. Like this is kind of like a half floor up. Like literally a half floor up since um oh shit. A little I need find I need to build another chest just for stone. We'll do that for now until we can build the other chest. Um, let's see. How much wood do we have? Looks like 15. That's enough for one chest. That's fine. 
Okay, make sure it's the right orientation. We'll line it up like so. Cool. And this can be a chest just for stone. Give it somewhere to go other than in other chests. Now eventually we can build with stone, but we can't yet, so we're just gonna be stockpiling just a bunch of it. I like the torch there, it just kind of fits in the little crevasse there. What does it take to upgrade this goddamn uh, hammer? One wood, one stone, I think I can manage that. That'll just give it like 200 durability, which would be nice to have. Uh, same with you. How much durability do you have? You already have 200, but this will give you 400. Which is, just means I can just do stuff for longer without worrying about it. And yeah, this wood shield is a pitiful uh, block for us. There's a small wonder I wasn't able to do anything against that troll when I was trying to parry it like a fool. That said, we can make uh, another piece of troll armor. <clears throat> I think to do the hood, we'd have to have uh, some bone frags. We might. I might have fought some skeletons. I've got. Yeah, I had to fight some skeletons to get the stuff for the. Uh, for the. Um, what you call it? For the the thing. The uh, the furnaces. Yeah, that those guys. Okay, and that gets us. Ooh, a bit more armor. I think that gets us. Yeah, it gets us four more armor just by virtue of the. Uh, yeah, upgrading troll armor gives all your armor pieces like four more armor over leather, and when you have the full set, which is includes a little cape, you get. We're just gonna. Mm, yeah, we'll just throw this stuff out that we don't need anymore. Not a big deal. But yeah, the whole thing I was needing to do is core wood. <laughs> and I just, like... Never did that because that troll. Oh, you look nasty. Do I have any? What what arrows do I have? Wood. Well, this is about to get nasty. Let's get them up here, so I can fight them in a little bit more. E oh, there's a brute too. Oh boy. Alright, that brute's definitely gonna come this way now. I wanna deal with him separately. Okay, parrying him's probably not a great idea. And these other assholes are just attacking everything. I would like if they just stop bothering my my work my my stuff. That'd be great. That's also just not a great situation to be in right now. At least one of them is dead. Yeah, I don't have a lot of stamina to do these blocks with, but I just gotta. I just, uh. Poison. Ow. That's gonna smart. That might actually kill me. That's a lot of damage. 
might actually just kill me. Uh, we're gonna run in here and close the door. I need I need food. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. At least I'm in my house. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's a really unfortunate uh, pack spawn of dwarves. Thanks for the hydrate, bud. Hope you're doing good. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Love this game, but goddamn, some of this game will just throw some bullshit at you for no good reason. Uh, <laughs> very, very unfortunate time. We'll put our armor back on. We'll eat some food, and we'll go try to rough house these asshole fucking critters. They are just causing a ruckus out there. This damn one star. Ah, that poison dude is what killed me, honestly. He does just so much damage. There, yeah, there, there's like a one star shaman and like a freaking... Just, just, yeah, I'm not very prepared for this level of Grey Dwarf bullshit. <clears throat> the, the whole gang, yeah. The whole gang's here. Oh, hello. Well, now, now I'm out of stamina from blocking this dude so much. But he's almost dead. He's just kind of the worst because he just don't do a lot of a lot of numbers. But yeah, they, 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 hit, they swing nice and slow. <laughs> They're just going to town. God damn. This dude's just gonna do his little fucking bullshit healing shit. Okay. Those guys are usually aren't hard, but they kind of caught me in a bad situation where I just didn't have much, like, foods. There's so many of you. Why are there so many of you? I, did another one just appear out of nowhere? It really felt like that. Like, I just turned and looked, and then... <laughs> just another one? <laughs> Well, it's a lot of free wood and stuff, I guess. At least. They're just kind of annoying. I am once again happy that I built my, my pig pen like this, because they're freaked out, but all of them are still alive. And this all happened because I saw the shaman down there and I decided to just kind of shoot at it because I was like, I kind of want to get that thing dead. And then it had like 10 other ones with it. It was like a fucking clown car. Like, you, you, the little car stops, the little door opens, and then like 10 gray doors pop out. <laughs> Honestly, I'm pretty, pretty happy I was able to actually kill all those because I've got like a stone axe and like the basic dog shit shield, so not too bad. The bees are happy. That's that's the most important part though, is the bees are happy, you know. So <laughs> And we're just building like a nice little homestead here on like the, the very edge of the, the black forest and uh, it's the worst. Why did I decide to build, build here? Probably because it's, it's like right next to like a copper vein. That's literally why. 
You saw nothing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had, I had a run in with a troll, and I foolishly tried to like uh, parry it with this awful shield, and it did not go well. Every building area is great until it's not. Yeah, ain't that the truth too? Probably the only exception is meadows, but that's because there's just like nothing there that's like actually dangerous. It's just there's just nothing here. Great for building like a big mega base, but otherwise, eh. Now, did I end up actually getting any core wood? I don't think so. Yeah, I, on my other file, I've got like the iron, uh, the iron bandage shield, and I was, I've been parrying trolls, and it feels so fucking good just to like parry them. They go wobble backwards like a little goober, and then you just chop, you kill them like seven axe swings. It's very empowering. There we go. There's all those recipes. I was like, how in the hell do I... You big blue bitch. <laughs> right? Uh... Yeah, we unlocked a... Oh, look at you. You gonna come here? How many damn gray dwarves I keep finding? I won't be surprised if there's like a spawner, one of those spawner things somewhere close by. Because there's just like a lot of gray dwarves. Like more than I usually end up seeing even. I'm just like, hmm. Seems like a few. Oh, more carrot seeds. Good. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, I see him. Jesus Christ. How many trolls am I going to have to deal with today? That'd be number two. I just kind of randomly stumble upon without really meaning to. I did not pick up the, the wood. I need more, more fire arrows. I'm going to deal with that, though. I, I, I can't cope right now with, like, 16 wood arrows. That's not going to do it for me. Like I know I've got like like tons of this resin bolt. Yeah, I was like, I know I've I know I've got it. Uh, do I have any feathers though? Is the big thing. I might have used all those up, which is probably why I made the wood arrows so I could get more feathers. That that makes actually a lot of sense. So I guess we're gonna go on bird shooting duty. And now that I need birds, I'm not gonna see a single one. You know, it's just, just, that's just how it goes. I can't, I don't make up the rules. I just have to live by them. <laughs> uh, probably wouldn't hurt to also find some uh, more boars to shoot or whatever. Or when I do see birds, it's like in the worst possible time. Like, they'll be like, I'll be like fighting a troll and there'll be like three birds just watching me. I'm just like, oh, come on, really? I hear a deer just yelling to itself in the forest. Uh... Oh, yeah, there's this little bridge I made. Because, uh... You... Hello, Neki. How are you doing today? Oh, there's... I don't think that's how fish work. It's just it's just hanging out on a little bridge here. So I inadvertently made like a little fish catching deal. Yeah, it actually works pretty nice. And it catches... I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Right, it's just like, ah, oh, shit, not again. Oh, yeah, just like I said, there's like no birds anywhere. Oh, oh, <laughs> another fish. Nice job, idiot. <laughs> I see a flying.
No, it'd help if I actually shoot. Not this bow is terrible. I am terrible, but this bow makes it worse. <laughs> We're just gonna sit here and wait for another bird to land, cause they're around. At least I thought they were. I think they all just kind of got bored and left. Like, this fucker ain't even a good shot. Where's the challenge? Oh, pff, asshole. <laughs> Sammy got it. <laughs> fucking flew away. Oh, come on. We're, land somewhere. I see you fuckers, still just fluttering around, taunting me. Now, unfortunately, if I'm gonna make any of the fire arrows to help me fight that troll that was kind of nearby, I'm gonna have to get these feathers, which means I'm gonna. Sweet. Well, that's at least twenty, but I, I'm gonna need like ten feathers to make a full stack of arrows. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> oh, that, that wasn't even a bird. I'm just stupid. <laughs> God damn it. Like, literally right at its little stinky feet. <clears throat> uh, waiting for another bird to land. That one almost did. It's like, hmm, no. I'm gonna make you work for it. Well, I'm gonna I'm waiting for the one that's a little closer this time. Are you serious? This bow is ter I'm terrible. This bow is terrible. No, no! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I I'm embarrassing myself in front of whoever's watching. Which is more than enough people, cause god damn. This bow is terrible and I'm worse. <laughs> I got four more arrows. You, you want to land so bad. Trick shot! Let's, let's maybe just get closer and shoot. That, okay. <laughs> well that one only gave me two feathers, that's weird. Was that a, I was like, is that actually a bird or what, what is that? It's hard to tell sometimes. But just having, I've got, you got one shot. I get this shot, we have all the feathers we need to make a hundred freaking fire arrows, which would be really nice. Because then I could kill at least one troll pretty reliably. I might also be able to just make the fine wood bow since I had a troll clobber down some of the birch trees. I just need a single bird to spawn that I'm able to shoot and kill. Now granted I could kill birds with the fire arrows too, I just wanted to like, I don't know, efficiently use these wood arrows. Alright birds. Oh, what's the fish? What's the fish doing? Oh, there's a bird. I think I think I killed all the ones in the kind of general area, so they had to kind of spawn some more, maybe. Spending a nice day in the meadows, shh, bowling for buzzards. I can't even see where this bird landed. I can see where you landed, though. Okay, I didn't. Hell yeah. Well, thanks for chilling with me for a little bit. Appreciate it. Some boars. Unfortunately, I do need these boars to um. 
Oh, my axe is terrible. I can't even one-shot this boar. No, no, man, I'm sorry. I think I can... I think saying goodbye to one dandelion is worth <laughs> the leather scraps. I didn't realize I wasn't picking those up. Kinda need those. Okay, Bambi. Now that I don't have any more arrows, she's gonna be like 10 birds. Where'd that other boar go? You? It, it is now. <laughs> it's a, it's like that meme of like, is someone gonna die for blah blah blah, and then it's like someone is. And it's like somebody gonna die for <laughs> leather scraps, and it's like someone is, and yeah, it's <laughs> it's the boar. There's some necks, and I'm really super interested in them right the second I can't carry their stuff anyway the whole point of this like, expedition was to get fire arrows so I could kill that troll that's like staring at my staring at me that was staring at me that also gives us some better pants because right now we're just kind of wearing leather pants which are great but you know not as great as troll hide pants. I might also be able to convince that troll to help me mine some more copper too, so. It's also a nice advantage of just dealing with trolls is they can help you get shit you're not really... Like, I've got, like, the antler pickaxe, so I can mine it myself, but the troll has big-ass hands and big arms, so it's a little faster at mining than I am. You just have to kind of like get its attacks to land where the rocks are. Which isn't really that hard once you can kind of like figure out like how to kind of lure it where you need want it to be. How are the bees doing? Oh, more honey for me. Thank you. I need to find more hives. Because two is not going to be enough. All right, let's start offloading stuff. We've got that, we did that. Those, we got core wood. I think we need a, a, the, the upgraded uh, station here to make the fine wood bow. So we might just wanna go try to find some more boars real quick. Kind of keep core wood in there as well. We've got a box specifically for stones. I know this is kind of like our farming box, slash like cooked stuff box, I guess. It's like veg vegetables and fruits and whatever. Not very good stuff, but it is stuff. <laughs> it might be worth our time just cooking some of this boar meat. I don't didn't want to, but we'll, we're, we'll have plenty more boar meat in the future than, you know, what this is. So, we're going to cook some. But first, we're going to make uh, some more fire arrows. Um, oh, what, did I put the feathers away? Wait, I have 30, why do I have so many feathers? Uh, did I just like miss where they were? Probably, what, you know, it's fine. More, more feathers never hurt anyone. I'm just a, a fucking fool, like usual. That's okay, well. That was a good use of the wood arrows anyway. <clears throat> Regardless of if I already had all the stuff I needed to make used to make it anyway you know it's that's 10 feathers I don't have to get later oh they're made I got all these feathers from uh 
from the uh, little burial grounds, which, you know, that's pretty good for basically nothing. Uh, we're going to keep the honey in this chest for now. And oh, I did make the, um, oh, we can make boar jerky. Hmm. That's a bet. That's a good use of our honey too. Yeah, we can make boar. We can turn one boar meat into two food. I think uh, boar meat's only like thirty something, but this is like twenty three in both, so it's actually pretty a pretty good use of our stuff. We can also turn those raw those fish we have into raw fish and cook those if necessary. Yeah, we're gonna, for now, make as many of these board jerky as possible because it's gonna be one of our best foods. For at least a little bit. All right, we turn 10 of those, 10 of those meats, 10 of those boar meats into, um, 20 boar jerkies. And we're, so we're doing deer meat, boar jerky, and... I'll go ahead and just eat one. 30 minutes. It's a kind of like... Hmm. I might still go ahead and just make uh, the, <laughs> the boar meat anyway. Grab those fish. I can do stuff with these fish while I'm waiting for the boar to cook. Yeah, uh, doing doing the cooked boar meat is is 30 HP and 10 stamina, but using one to make two of these is not much less health, but a good bit more stamina. So it's a nice balance to do these boar jerkies, and they're very easy to do once you have this. So. Oh, it, prior it prioritized the cooked fish over the deer meat for some reason. I mean, cooked fish are even better than the deer meat. Like, almost equivalent to, like, some of the cooked stuff you can make with, like, harder ingredients. Yeah, since, it, since it's a little bit more um, reliable to get, we're going to do boar meat, cooked deer meat, and boar jerky for now. This is our food. It's a lot easier to get this stuff than most of the other stuff that we've been trying to force feed ourselves. Uh, griddle fries can go in here for now. We're gonna eventually we'll be using them, but for now they're just kind of like <laughs> Taking up room. I don't really need the torch uh, Do I have a trophies box just for trophies yet? Wait, what? What is even in this chat? Well, okay, this is like raw meats I just used up all the raw meats I had so that's why I was like wait. There's nothing in here. <laughs> Oh dang, I had, even, I had even more feathers than I thought, <laughs> apparently. Oh, I do have ones just for trophies. Now, most of these trophies aren't really useful for anything other than decor, but later there's an item you can make that you can use to turn items into coal, and each trophy can be turned into one coal by itself, so if you just have like a bunch of these trophies that can like knit you a bunch of easy coal. 
All right, it's night time. Let's do a little bit of a, a snooze. Actually, before that, let's load up our furnace here. Uh, it's already got stuff in there. We just have to give it this stuff. The coal. <clears throat> and we'll, we'll use just the rest of our wood. And there, and then we'll sleep, and most of that stuff will be processed when we wake up. Soon you'll be able to make your own bird. We have so many feathers. Sounds like we woke up to a raid. The forest is moving. Well, tell it to stop. I'm, I'm tired. God damn it. Oh, hello. Damn it. I didn't want to get hit by that again. Thankfully, armor reduces poison damage now, so us getting the, the, the other piece of troll armor... Oh, God damn it. That shaman is a pain in the ass. Oh, gray dwarves. Never change. Don't you heal that motherfucker. No. Die properly. I need to, like, not be damaged. Oh, yeah, of course, I'm poisoned. Pain in the ass. Oh, there's another dude. My favorite. Jesus Christ. This is just like the Grey Dwarves are pain in the ass fucking stream, I guess. Let me just, um... If I could aim right, that'd be good, you know. I like how Hogan's just like, oh no, there's an enemy on top of me. And then just like poofs away. Where, Where are you going? <laughs> Dude just ran away. Fine by me, I just don't want to... Actually, no, I kind of need to kill him. Yeah, I kind of need to kill him because he'll drop a, a seed that we use to summon the boss uh, eventually. Like, these guys are like... They're not the only source of the, of the seeds, but they're the, the easiest way to get them without, like, breaking spawners, which... You don't want to really break spawners unless they're, like, like right next to your base. Because those spawners can be used to make a, like... Kind of like how you, like, in Minecraft, you can make, like, a mob spawner farm kind of deal. Okay, Hoogan, what? Yes, yes. Are y'all having fun over here attacking my shit? And doing literally nothing. You're you're not even a gray dwarf. What are you doing here? Go away, little bast little bastards.
Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, we got a bunch of, like, free wood and stone out of it, but that was kind of annoying. Oh, they, they, they bashed in my little beehive a little bit. The bees are probably not very happy, but now they're happy. The bees are happy. <laughs> and y'all are still fine because these, wall these little wooden walls are stronger than you think, honestly. Matter of fact, I might, um... Like, this is kind of where we go to, like, throw the food in for them. We might build the work a workbench in here so we can just always repair this little structure. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll build a workbench, like, in here. It's not for crafting, it's for building. Although we could probably, we probably could use it anyway. Like, jump on top? Yeah, we could, we could still totally just do that anyway. Jump on top, but it's mostly just so we can... Because you have to have a workbench in the area to repair your buildings. And that is most certainly in the area now, because it's, like, in the building. Alright, well, let's pick up all this junk that I got surprised with. I got surprised. I got I got uh, jumps. I get not really jump scared. I guess it's not the right word, but I got um, ambushed by a raid when my my character woke up. It's not ideal, but you know, it is more tin though, which is good. One thing we can make that tin is a uh, butchering knife, which we can use to kill off uh, some of our tamed boars for meat. For now, we'll just kind of put that away, and we'll... We can make some more bronze. We can now make the cultivator as well, but I'm going to have to clear out some space and maybe start building a defensive wall around my area to um, properly do something with that. Because now we can grow carrots, which I should have done started doing a while ago, but... I've been just getting interrupted by ev literally everything in the fucking universe. Maybe I'll grow carrots out here. You don't have to be like really close by crops for them to grow. Like if you go near them, they'll update to what their growth stage is and stuff. I don't want that shit. Oh, I also need to break this because this is this has nearly killed me a few times. Just like a random ass fence. So let's find a nice place to kind of plan on. Uh... It would be ideal if it was within like a walled area of our base, but that might not happen this stream. So we're probably gonna like get a nice little plot of land and then put build a wall around it specifically. A bit of workbench there so that things can't spawn and. Yeah. Cause the cool thing about carrots is that we can use them to breed uh, animals instead of like raspberries and stuff that have a lot much longer respawn time. Now make sure we have a nice steady supply of uh, like boar meat and stuff like that. All right, so let's go ahead, go to seven. Let's do cultivate and start just cultivating some area here. That's probably enough for carrots, I would assume. Uh, we don't have enough wood to make the workbench we need or any of the walls, so we need to go uh, bully some trees. It seems to kill this little bastard. Break down the stump. <laughs> God, this axe is so bad. 
we can't break this yet, but we we have the 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 ability to make more uh, bronze, and soon we will make a an axe. But for now, I think I'll just kind of wander around the forest and try to find uh, little tree bits that we can break. Like these logs, like this, are just kind of stuck in the ground. It's a lot faster to break them than it is some of the other stuff, so that's kind of what I'm wanting to deal with. Uh, I mean, we have enough wood now to make the uh, the workbench I'm gonna need, but we don't have other wood to build walls or whatever. You can also break these stumps too. God, I, I forget how bad this stone axe stone axe is. Granted, this is a tier one stone axe, so I think if I upgraded it a little bit, it would be better. But we're gonna be getting a bronze axe before long, so I'm not gonna waste my time doing that. It would have been it would have been fine if I like upgraded it much sooner than you know. Ooh, how did I sneak up on you? That's weird. I'm I'm not a very quiet person or creature. Come on, fine. Do these these overhead chops like that? Uh, it's probably in our best interest to get to a full stack of wood before we go back and try to build that thing. Any more tree pieces? There's one up here. We'll go grab that. Yeah, if I would, if I would have upgraded this axe, like, much sooner on and it's a lifespan it would have been way more useful to do that then but at this point soon we're gonna have a bronze one so it's not really worth my time to do I mean it's very few resources but we're gonna have to be throwing this stone axe away soon anyway so it's like there's no point come come back get on my level literally so I can hit you <laughs> there's another boar Like, this axe can't even kill these boars in one shot. That might be actually enough uh, of the leather scraps for us to actually make the upgraded workbench so we can make a better bow, too. Which is also why I'm kind of just wandering around the plain, the meadows here. Don't, don't want to say plains, because that's a different biome that you don't want to just wander around in. That's like a, like, like, early late game biome. kind of a weird thing to say but like there is the meadows which is the starter biome then there's um uh, we can tear this little hut down we don't need this here we can press five so the way you do is you build this and then with this here you can start deconstructing all the structure stuff that is here And you just take all the wood because when you, when structures are deconstructed, they uh, you know, no, oh, we're we're full. Our damn inventory's full. Well, part of that problem can be solved by uh, let's see, throwing rag tunic away, throw that away, and we're gonna just leave those stones away too. I'd much rather rather have the wood since we're you know building with wood right now. Uh, 292. Uh, 298. Kind of wish you didn't have some of this stuff on me. Some of it just weighs more than I would really prefer to have on me, but... Um, we'll come back. I'll mark this with, like, a little campfire. 
And we'll come back and finish this off. I'll, I'll go build some of the, the structure that we want. It's going to be close to our little base here. So we're just going to kind of run. I mean, I might as well. Yeah, we also should probably get arrested back because that gives us stamina regen, which is, where am I going? Somewhere else, apparently. Hello, singular raspberry. Okay. So this is where we're going to be building our little deal. We're also going to want to probably make sure this area isn't raised up where things can just get over our little wall. So in that case, we're going to have to level this ground a little bit too. Those only take four, which is it's twice as much wood as the walls I was thinking of, but those are much better walls. <laughs> They're actual, like, tangible walls. Uh, we need this, so we'll kind of place this down, like, right here, sure. Let's grab our little friend here. Make sure we got our area cultivated that we want. All right, back to building. We now build some of these. Let's figure out where are these. Uh, we'll, we'll include this in the wall, like so. Like this, and we'll rebuild this in a better position like so all right now we can start just building more of this and when we're out of wood we'll probably go get rested again and uh, we'll, we'll do that if we can get the snap that'd be great but it's probably not gonna let me so let's just uh, Do some more cultivate. Now I should be able to. Oh, probably need a break. This little rock here. Yes, yeah, pickaxe is pretty terrible. There's a reason why I'm trying to have trolls break copper instead of me, because. This antler pickaxe is, it can break rocks with it, but it's very bad at, at you know, doing that. All right, so. One thing it is perfectly fine at, though, is breaking, like, terrain. Like, the antler pickaxe axe remains really good at doing that, where you can just, it takes one swing to just kind of break terrain anyway, so doing anything, doing terrain breaking with anything but that's probably not worth your time. Dude! <laughs> uh, we'll put a gate. Right 
there, and then we'll do more of these. How much more wood do we even have? 17? That's not much, but I'll build as many as I can. Now, ideally, we'll have, like, the... Another, probably need another one of these, and then we'll start building over. That snap point there. Well, it looks like we're out of wood. That's fine. We can go get more and also just leave some stuff back at the base. Like I should have previously. Like, don't. Wrong box. Don't need that with us. Been trying to collect some of those. Don't need the coral wood with us right now. Uh, those trophies. I think they're in this box over here. Yeah, they're over here. So those wild stuff for now I'm gonna put dandelions in there unless I have them somewhere else just making sure I don't have dandelions somewhere else before I start putting them strictly in the little like raw foods area okay then we got raw meats which is gonna be boar We're gonna probably just hold off on the boar meat here. And we'll, let's grab uh, some of these mushrooms. I might need to run back to one of those uh, tombs and grab some of these mushrooms because these mushrooms are, oh, they're a bit better than the raspberries and the little tombs have them in them. Yeah, we're gonna just Let's grab some more honey real quick, if there is any. I need, I need more bees too, because eventually you use honey to make mead, which are basically this game's kind of form of potions. So we're gonna want lots of honey eventually that we just don't currently have the production for. I am gonna need this eventually for making our upgraded uh, crafting station. There's just so much to do in this game at every stage of it, even like at the very beginning like this. There's just so much to do all the time. Uh, we might as well load up some stuff in here. Oh, it's already full. Perfect. In that case, um, we'll smelt a bunch of copper. We'll sleep. Honk shoe, honk shoe, me, 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 me. You dream of a river running uphill, of green shoots turning downward into the earth. All right, we got all this copper that we didn't have to wait very long for at all. Let's load up all this coal that we have, and we got eight. Eight ore that can be smelted in there, so we're gonna we'll leave one tin in there, and we can just dump all this in there. And that will work. I'll work while we are doing other stuff, which is great. <clears throat> okay. I mean, how much does it take to upgrade this axe since I'm going to be using it for at least a, f a little bit more? Uh, maybe not, actually. Let's see. How much does the bronze axe take? Eight bronze, four wood, two leather... Oh, the leather scraps. Well, I have a proposition for our boar friends. Um, we're going to grab two of these raspberries. That's four. I, I literally said two, and I grabbed four. <laughs> I never said I was good at counting. <laughs> uh, we're also gonna grab this knife here and not don't look the one there because if it says that we need uh, some more leather scraps for our stuff well let's get some more leather, leather scraps because so we've got five adult boars in here and we only need two to keep them breeding so let's uh
All right, well, there's three of those. And now with the left leftover boars here, let's uh, give them their food. They're tame and hungry. Let's give them one raspberry a piece. They'll eat those. They'll be happy, and then they'll start just they'll start doing the thing that board that that animals are good at. Boar loves you. Boar loves you. Nah, we don't need to sit here and watch them do it. Oh, <laughs> as soon as they start leaving, they're like, "Okay, now let's let's get this show on the road," and they're just started doing the thing, you know. Sometimes you just start doing the thing, and then you don't stop doing the thing. All right. So we need four wood, uh, two leather scraps, and eight bronze to make the better axe. We can actually make another another set of uh, bronze here, since we have enough stuff. Five bronze takes... One bronze is two copper, one tin. And five bronze you can make at a time is ten copper, five tin. We can make one set of that. And I think that's enough to actually make the... Uh, that is just enough, actually, to make the, um, the axe. And then we need some wood real quick, so we'll go get that... The, fin the final send-off for this little stone axe is going to be destroying this fir tree. So we can make its replacement. <laughs> Bronze axe, let's go. Let's just do a quick comparison here. Uh, stone axe, slash, 20. Which is, that's how much damage it'll, it does to things and the uh, trees. Bronze Axe slash 40. Like, even at its worst, the Bronze Axe is doing twice as much damage as the stone one. So, yeah, we're gonna just make this and not look back. <laughs> Alright, Bronze Axe. That also lets us cut down those um, birch trees, like, legitimately. I gotta have to move this damn thing. It's kind of in the way. What are you doing? <clears throat> Let's flatten some of this area. It's just kind of annoying to walk around on currently. Like, this area is not very flat, and it's kind of annoying to fight the gray dwarves in this area, like this. I also need to kind of get some area behind this cleared out. As you can see, they're 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 going at it. I don't see a piggy in there, but there will there probably will be before long. <clears throat> anyway, we got our new axe. Oh, the bees are already making more honey. Sweet. Before we get too much too far away with our carried away let's eat some more food you get some more wood let's go back to that one place because there was that uh got him feathers Thank you.
And yeah, needless to say, this um, axe is a big upgrade. Like, we can do two of these power swings to cut down those like extra like wood bits like that. It's pretty sweet, pretty good. All right, let's go over and we'll go bully the rest of the stuff over here. We've got like a hundred and like seventy spaces for wood. means like we can hold like 85 something wood give or take that was just me doing quick math so I could be wrong all right so five and we'll just do Uh, any other floors? There's one right here. Sneaky. Each of those floors is like two wood a piece. And let me just break that. And if there's something that we need to build here, there's not a nice little flat space for it. I mean, you can just break stuff, structures free form like that anyway, but. There's some raspberries here. We'll mark those. At some point, we'll be able to do stuff with raspberries that's more useful than just eating them. So we can already do stuff with raspberries. We make Queen's Jam, which is pretty okay. It, can ha it lasts quite a bit longer than these, and it gives more stamina, but these are just kind of free, so we're using those right now as our stamina kind of food. These are door. It's kind of hard to fucking tell with all this shitty ivy in the way. An empty chest. That's fine. We'll build this right. You know, we'll build it outside so we don't even have to worry about being obstructed by, like, view. We can just start tearing this place down. Now, chest isn't an, is an especially juicy teardown, because that alone is like 10 wood. Yeah, these little structures like this don't really do anything for us just kind of sitting around so we can just tear them down for wood and use that wood on our own structures there's no like real shortage of these kind of little houses around either I don't know if like the the I don't know if like the math works out the same way with other like structures but um as far as um, POIs go like in the swamp I watched a video recently about like how this one person was made like a swamp only world, which is not normally something you can do in Valheim, but they did some weird, they had a mod that they used to do it. And like the swamp biome in every world can generate up to like 400 uh, structures or it might be separate structures than just like the dungeons that they were talking about. But it seemed like there's like each biome and each world can generate a certain amount of structures. And since most worlds are not only just one biome, like, they're kind of spread around fairly commonly. So, yeah, there's, like, no shortage of those little, like, wood huts and throughout all of, like, the little meadows biomes. So. Okay, we can get rid of this now because all the wood has been harvested from that. Moral of the story is, if you're playing this game and you're not using one of those structures to actually live in, just tear it down. And use, use the wood. Yeah, we easily one hit these bars now. In in general, two hit the uh, gray dwarves, the normal gray dwarves at least. Oh, more raspberries that I already met. I have this one marked. 
No? Huh. Alright. Matter of fact, while we're at it. Not that one. This one. You can kind of flatten the ground where all these kind of things are. Kind of make it easier to deal with them. Uh, we'll consider it the same uh, marking for the, the sake of uh, the stuff. Because it's like eight raspberry bushes. It's pretty good. It's, it's especially useful to do this if you find like mushrooms because they're kind of low to the ground and compared to the uh, I, mean, I probably should pick them. Do I have space? Yeah, I do. Yeah, well, uh, yeah we, we should have space. Yeah, they don't even weigh one pound piece. So, ooh, there's actually like a few but the bushes clustered together in that one spot. That's pretty good. Oh, same there too. That's weird. Weird having that many nearby that are all clustered like that. Cool. All right, let's get back home. I'll I'll, I'll put an, a proper marking on it because there may be times where we don't have our sleeping spot at you know that base. And if you only have your marking based off where you sleep. You're going to be in for a rough time when you sleep somewhere else and then you forget where your base is. <laughs> That's not something I want to deal with, so we're uh, going to not do it that way. Alright, let's grab our pick ass. And mine a bit of this area out around here. We're going to have to recultivate some of the ground, but that's literally free, so that and then start building up more of these walls we'll grab our pickaxe again and it doesn't have to be flat but the snap points are a lot easier to utilize when the ground is nice and flat so this will be our garden area And we'll make these meet up. That's just, that should be plenty of space to grow things in. Like, plenty and plenty. Like, I have a much smaller kind of zone surrounded. Well, on my other file, I have my entire, like, compound that I have built in the, the Black Forest uh, surrounded by these kind of walls. So I, I never even get any monsters showing up in my base. They show up near it, but that's fine. It's pretty easy to deal with. All right, so now we'll cultivate the, the entirety of the stuff inside. And we can flatten the ground outside to make it not cultivated if we care, which I kind of do, but uh, I'm, more, I'm more concerned about like this. And like it being walkable around here. Yeah, I definitely should have had the, the the carrots growing, like, honestly, probably the end of last stream, no, probably would have been smart to do, because carrots take time to grow, as you may, as you may expect. Who is it? It's probably one, like, one gray dwarf. Yeah, it's like one gray dwarf. Come here. Another thing I was wanting to do with all this wood is making the, uh, up, is upgrading my thing here so I can make the better, a better bow. Hopefully we have the stuff to do that. Let's see, it's the, uh, 
Well, now that we have some bron have access to bronze, we can do this, but we need uh, this guy. Five deer hide, 15 flint. Let's see if we got it. Don't have quite don't have quite the flint, but we definitely have the deer hide, because, well, if I see a deer, I usually try to kill it. Unless I'm busy with something else. While we're just doing other crap, though, let's go ahead and come in here and plant the, uh... Matter of fact, while we're... A lot of while we're at it kind of stuff. I'll have this kind of area not be grown stuff. That's still a pretty good amount of growing area. We might even be able to kind of... I just don't want it to like be the case where like I open the door and like... The freaking carrot gets destroyed by the door opening or some. Sh I don't know if that can happen, but I don't want to test it. <laughs> All right, that's probably fine. Yeah, we want to plant these carrots. We wanted to plant these carrots like last stream, and we'll give them plenty of space. Like that's way more space than they probably need, but I don't want to risk. Planting them in the wrong space, them not having space to grow, and then dying. Alright, this entire area looks like it is surrounded by the uh, workbench lines. Yeah, like that, that little white circle. The whole area is surrounded by the means stuff can't spawn in this area, so they won't spawn in stuff won't spawn in my garden, which is good. Or at the very least, not stuff like like graylings or gray dwarves or whatever. So, with that taken care of, let's offload our inventory. Grab there's no heat, there's no honey. That's fine. Offload our inventory. A little bit of wood, we'll store that in here with the stones right now. <clears throat> store you, store you. Honestly, with that same concept, you really just don't want spawns here. You basically just put a whole bunch of workbenches kind of around and that will significantly reduce the spawning area that the enemies have in or, in or around your base and it just makes things simpler. Actually, that wood I put away, we need to. We should probably use some of that to make some charcoal. Okay, what's left? Nothing left in there. Nothing left in there. We have like one more tin ore, I think. And we'll, we'll start making some charcoal so there's at least something that gets processed over the time. They'll put these away in their little box. <clears throat> and you know, I'll keep the rest of the wood in there. Actually, no, I I, I need to get some more wood while I'm out because I need like, I think like 10 or 20 of it. I say as I use up more wood there, but I need the fire to be going pretty often because that's how we get our rested stuff. <clears throat> Dream of a mighty bear sleeping deep below the earth in the winter of the world. It turns in its sleep, folds upon folds of flesh and fur. It has no head, no limbs, a, mass, a vast mass of bear flesh. Oh God! Who left the Who left the bear out? <laughs> Okay, it's more charcoal for next time we do some ore. Let's check on our piggies. Um, they should have bred. Oh, how did you get out? They bred at least once. We'll fix. We'll, we'll we'll fix this later. I might have to like. <clears throat> make this whole little hut a little lot bigger but I mean we can let's break this tree it's right it's right here and it's a 
primed and ready to be chopped down because it's in my way. They get us some more fine wood that we don't need that much of right now anyway, but... I mean, we need some, but I think I already have enough for... what we need to do with it. I'm assuming we need like 20 fine wood to make the fine wood bow, which is a pretty drastic upgrade over the little crude bow that we have. Anywho, we got a little bit more wood out of it. We need to get the uh, flint now, which is by the, which is by the river. Gosh, this boar jerky is such a good food. Oh. I'll still just kill whatever boars I find. Unless they have star ratings, which they probably won't this close to spawn. Oh yeah, this spawn was really good because Ike Theater was like right next to like the spot like this is where you like the spawn is. And Ike Theater was like right next to it, so I was like, oh that's pretty nice. <laughs> In my, in my uh, offline file, I had to sail across the fucking ocean to get to the first boss. Which was uh, not fun on a little crappy raft, I'll tell you that, but... So yeah, count your blessings if you can get a nice spawn of the first boss. Yeah, we're, we're, down, we're down here to get uh, flint. It spawns on like the shores like the rivers and the lakes and etc I don't know like how often it spawns but I just know that it spawns in like these kind of areas and we need 15 let's actually move this up so we can see how many we have Whatever little pieces of wood are laying around, and there's some some necks. They're just kind of swimming away. Look cool. Enjoy. There's a few necks here, though. Come here. Am I really that stealthy with not even full troll armor? I might be underestimating how stealthy this stuff makes you, because. My other file, I'm past the point of troll armor being really worth my time because I've got like iron armor or whatever. But for a while, troll armor is just like the bee's knees because it's better. Ar it's it's not much worse than bronze armor, and you can upgrade it by just killing trolls, which you're probably gonna end up doing anyway because they won't leave you alone if you're near the black forest most of the time. So you you end up just kind of getting troll armor anyway, and it's pretty decent armor for what it is pretty easy to upgrade okay, that's all the flint we need they want to become boots they sure do Ooh, is there a chest up here there is uh, how much weight do we have yeah we could we could tear this building down Kind of plop this down and then we broke the supports, so the tr the building is gonna start falling apart on its own. Well, it might. I don't think that's supported by the tree. Uh. It... Okay. It looks like that. Yeah, we'll just break it all, whatever. I was wondering if, like, the part of the building is supported by this tree branch, but... Okay, then we can break this to get our wood back that we used to make that, and... Yeah. Just getting some extra wood. Let's flatten this out, because I saw some mushrooms. 
doing this also gets rid of the vegetation too, so it can make me good to see where your stuff. Only two mushrooms, that's fine. I can't remember what these mushrooms are for, but I mean, they can be used to feed your animals, etc. Eat, you can eat them yourself. Uh, anything else in this area? There's some area I haven't explored up there. I mean, there might be some POIs or something there. I'm trying to find some more uh, bees, if possible. Ooh, there's a little fence here. Maybe there's like a little beehive or something in here. This looks like, a, like an old chicken coop, kind of. Pretty cool, but not really useful right now. And, and we'll, we'll, let's not jump into the river. We'll just kind of splash across. Now there's a swimming skill, and as your skills get go higher, you use less stamina while doing the the action. Oh, nice. There's like raspberries here. This is like a little signpost or something. Kind of looks like it. That's cool. I think I don't know what those are. There's a boar. Oh, there's more boars there. Double kill. Oh, there's a two star boar. I don't know if that boar is going to stay long. That, that's so... Un oh my god. We need that boar. Desperately. Because that is the... That is so rare to find one of those. Oh my god. Well, the rest of our stream might be dedicated to uh, taming this bastard. Very carefully. Because... Four star boar when you kill it gives you four drops instead of one. They're extremely valuable. And they don't spawn normally this close to spawn unless they're from one of these, so. Yeah, we're gonna kill this other one. And that other boar there is going to, uh, we're gonna aggro it so it'll chase us. And then we'll lead it back to our base. And then we will put that thing in like maximum security and like start taming it and then it'll um, eventually be tamed. But yeah, we're gonna put our weapon away so there are no accidents. Come here. Come on. And it will just chase us because it's just angry. Not what I was really looking for, but we're. You know, we're not gonna turn a. We're not going to turn up our nose to a two-star boar. Not a chance in hell. Okay, well, we're going to deal with this grayling after the boar is not next to us. Because... Yeah. We don't... Admittedly, I don't think the, the grayling cares about the boar until it's a tamed boar. Because I... I had a, a very unfortunate circumstance this weekend playing on my own where I found also found a two-star boar and um, yeah let's just say um, monsters were very interested in killing it after it got tamed and I was very fucking upset <laughs> so we're gonna do this a, the better way thankfully this one's not across the fucking ocean where'd you go up oh, there you are so we'll where are you going? You don't. You, you might actually follow us across the river. That'd be easier than what I'm trying to do now. Come on. Now oh, we can cross the river from over here. It looks like. Okay. <laughs> Kill the next. Again, wait patiently for this boar to attack us, and then kill the other stuff.
Yeah, the reason I'm going through all of this effort is so we can get this boar back to our base and put in a pin and, and tame it. I think the boar will actually just swim across the river, so we're gonna like aggro it and then uh, start swimming and see if he'll follow us. <laughs> Looks like it will. Alright, well. That makes this a lot easier. Alright, more's coming. Let's start running back to our base, which I think is like this way. I want to keep it very angry at me as much as possible because if it gets de-aggroed it will run straight back to that stone that it was uh, spawned by and then we'll have to do all this again but if I keep it aggroed or like frightened or whatever it will just keep chasing after us for almost as long as we need it to I can't fucking believe we found this that is so unlikely. <laughs> like, I want to see these things have, like, a t like two stars have, like, a 2% chance to spawn or something like that. It's so, so rare. But no, we just kind of found it while I was looking for other shit. And I am not going to make the same mistake I did last time I had a, a boar like this spawn. And we'll, th we'll bring this thing, like, really close to where our base is so we can still just do stuff while it's taming. I could probably actually put it up uh, somewhere like up here near my farm. We're going to just like prepare a space for it while it's just running around trying to like bite us or whatever. <sighs> like even if it hits us, it's not going to really do much damage. We're just kind of trying to keep it, keep it busy. Yeah, I did like five damage. Like, it's not very threatening, but it's very valuable. trapped and it won't really be very happy about this so it'll probably attack the walls but we'll build a nice little safe place for it to exist Yeah, the stream might get a little bit more boring after this, unfortunately, because this, like, taming this boar, I cannot over, or, overestimate how useful this is going to be. Because once you have a two-star boar, you can breed it with your other boars, and then those offspring can all be two-star, and then you can have all of your boars be that, that high quality. Okay, we need to just kind of sneak and wait for it to kind of calm down. Like, it's gonna keep swinging around trying to break walls until, like, it's not scared anymore. Because this. It's still scared. 
with it being this close, we should be able to go to our house and um, get some food and then come back and tame it because it should still be within render distance. And we need, uh, we're gonna have like five raspberries. Normally it takes only like um, three of them to tame it, but food gets wasted when you sleep. So part of our food that we give it, it's gonna run out. Things is kind of taking a while to calm down. Alright, I think it's calm now. Let's put our axe away just so there aren't any accidents. No pun intended. Let's inch up to it. Nice ricochet. Should okay, it started eating for now. We're just gonna close that again. <laughs> I'm gonna build that up. Just th the less line of sight it can have to things, the, the chiller the comrade should be. And if they're frightened, they don't do their taming progress, which we don't want that so. Cool. So we have a two-star boar taming. That's honestly incredible. I was not expecting to have that happen in a long time. I'll tell you that. That's... Like, this is great that we have with the boars here, but they almost don't even matter anymore. Well, what, they are going to matter because it's, you know, we need at least one other... Oh, yeah, there's a piggy here. I was going to make this bigger. Before that, though, we need to make this uh, thing the upgrade here so we can make our bow that way if we find any more um what you call them's yeah this guy i might need to build like a little little pole so i can hop up to better build stuff up here Literally, it is the it is a very valuable thing to have. Like, it's the top percentage of rat. It's like top percentage of ratatas, but really, 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 because it gives four times. It gives like it, when you kill a boar, it gives you like one meat and like one leather scrap. But when you kill a two star boar, it gives you four. Like over the course of our our playthrough, that's gonna be so much more resources for like. Just kind of getting dumb luck. Yeah, th this is why we have these shelves up here, by the way, so we can do stuff like this and keep them off the ground. I think we can make the fine wood bow now. Might have already been able to, but that's fine. Ten core wood, ten fine wood, and two deer hide. That's pretty reasonable, honestly. Okay, let's just make sure the boar is still there. I, I, I would assume it would be. Yeah, it still is. I can see the little hearts popping up from it taming. I, I can't believe that we found that boar. I was, I was, I was, I was kind of cautious because, like, oh, I see a lot of boars around that runestone, which means, like, those runestones, they spawn and they have, like, lore and stuff, but some of them actually have creatures that spawn at them when you generate that runestone. In that case, that was a boar stone, and most most of the time when boars spawn out in the wild, like if they're like, I think it's like 800 meters next to spawn, like that spawn like 800 meters out. I don't know how to measure. I don't know. I don't know how to measure exactly how far out that was, should, needs to be, but if you're a certain distance away, like you won't be able to get like one or two star boars if you're within 800 meters of this. 
The exception of that is if the boar, if those boar stones spawn boars, because that uses like the normal like spawning kind of like per, like chances or whatever. Oh, did my stream like have a did chat mess up? I just noticed the welcome to the chat room. It's like uh what? <laughs> All right. Uh, we're gonna eat food and then sleep. It's gonna waste like one of the probably one at least one of the foods that the boar is using to tame. But honestly, we can probably pretty easily probably just toss some more in there, and the boar should still be there. I don't know if like the boar becomes um, un deep, uh, if it becomes permanent whenever you uh, start taming it. It's still there. Thank fuck. I was scared that it was uh, not gonna still be there, because th there's a wiki for this game, and it has information on it, but it doesn't always have all the information you probably would want for, like, fine details, like, if I start taming a boar, will it despawn, etc., etc., so I'm just very scared of, of just fucking that two-star boar up, because the last time I tamed one... On my other file, I messed up by trying to drag it back across, like, a really long path. And monsters attacked it and killed it. And, yeah, that was uh, not what you want to do. Yeah, we're going to need to break this pine tree. And hopefully don't attract any uh, unwanted attention from trolls or otherwise. I'm also trying not to get too far away from that boar because I just don't know how far away is too far away. And I just don't want that to mess up because that will waste that will just waste our time. Let's try to roll this back up the hill. Eh, I give up. I'll just break the log pieces like this. Now this one ran a little far away. I saw something that says like you have to be like within like a hundred something meters of animals to be in their render distance, but I don't know if like that's I don't know what's really true for any of this. So hopefully this boar is still here. If it's not, I'm gonna be a little sad. Oh, it's thank fuck. I, I got I, I, you may think I'm just being dramatic but n no like this is gonna be the key to us just having not only just endless amounts of like of food but it's also gonna make it to our any extra born we have we can just cook it into coal too so it's gonna be good for ever it's just good for everything like it's just so important that we found something like that. Let's fix our tool. It gets ridiculous how useful it is that we found that while just kind of wandering around. So unfortunately, we're not going to be going very far from base for the next, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, carrots are growing fine. These seeds have to grow into carrots, and then we have to replant them as seed carrots. I think that's how you can actually do it in real life too is well I would assume so is like I've heard of people planting like the carrot tops and they like growing a full carrot or like growing like that but I think if you plant the whole carrot it will just like flower like that and then you pick you get the seeds from the flowers and then you grow more carrots that's how it works in the game and I would assume that's how it also kind of works in real life but I don't know. I'm just a plant, not a. I'm a, I'm a plant, not a plant scientist. <laughs> anyway, we have the stuff to make the fine wood bow. Let's get our stuff out to do that with. <clears throat> Probably have more than enough, actually. Let's get out deer hides. We might be able to actually even upgrade it. Like let's, like let's compare the bows. Like this bow here at tier one is got 50 durability. 22 pierce damage. This bow 
It's 32 pierce damage and double the durabil their durability. Draw stamina, the draw stamina is a little higher, but in the grand scheme of things, that's like fucking nothing. So yeah, we're gonna craft the fine wood bow. That's immediately an upgrade. Now, can we upgrade it already? Let's fix everything we have that would need it. Um... Yeah, we can we can go ahead and upgrade this. Uh, before we upgrade that, though, I think there might be another crafting station we could do four. Here, three bronze and ten fine wood. Yeah, let's uh, do that first. I think I have enough stuff to make more bronze. Yeah, I do. For now, we can put this back away, get a little bit of weight off of us, and this too, because we're not killing any more critters for right now. Alright, cool. Uh, so let's five, and this thing here, we're going to have to make another, uh, <laughs> make it a little, I might be able to do it like this. Get on what get on top of like one of these chests. It's a little silly, but you know what? It's kinda where I wanted this to go anyway. Yep, workbench level four. Which lets us get our stuff up to level four. Yeah, this star here says, like, what station level you need to upgrade something or make something. And, like, currently, like, we're, we're, we're all four, so to get to upgrade our bow here, we would need uh, a station level two, which we have. So we can upgrade the bow once. And we can upgrade it again to give it 200 durability instead of the 50 we were working with before. And if we had more core wood and fine wood, we could do another upgrade as well. Which, honestly, I might just do that. Because bow is very, very useful weapon to have around. So let's see if we can find... Oh, there's another birch here. That might be enough to, uh, to get us the fine wood. Maybe. Maybe not, but there's probably another birch lurking around here. Yeah, I wanted this fine wood bow because it will make fighting trolls... A lot easier. Oh, I got kind of got a, had a bad case of tree to head <laughs> syndrome. Oh, well, that actually got me all the all the fine wood I needed. I wasn't expecting it to. Uh, let's let's be sneaky and see how much acclimatization this boar already has. Thirty-seven. Okay, it's not even that bad. I do want to get this get this gray dwarf away from it though, because that's just they're just annoying. Like I'm just so real I'm just so afraid of that thing despawning somehow, although I don't think it will now that I'm like taming it like that. I just don't know, you know? But I need to find a pine tree. Just kind of the worst place about this base location is just kind of like at the top of like this shitty hill. I did build I did kind of choose the best place on this shitty hill to make the base, but it's still just kind of, you know, shitty hill. So let's chop this tree. Do these power swings, it saves. It saves durability.
Because I think it still uses like one axe durability, but it does like a lot more. It does like. Let's say at least like 50% more damage. Maybe, if not double, when you swing like that. Yeah. One, one, one of the reasons why I'm prioritizing this bow so hard is that, like, the first two bosses, you fight them with the bow, like, exclusively. Third boss, which I have beaten on my other file, you don't, you fight with, like, carrots! I have a, I have a garden, we planted carrots, but failed to harvest them all before snowfall. When spring came, we had super carrots! <laughs> yeah, they're, they're root vegetables, they kind of just keep growing. It's the same thing with potatoes, you play, I think, if you just, like, bury a potato, it'll just kind of grow and make more potato happen, I think. If I had, if, like, if I had more, like, brain and more space to do it, I would be, I would actually do that and, and kind of just grow potatoes and shit. Yeah, I think we'll, I think whenever we get to the point of making portals, I'll have a portal room, like, continue it off of that side of the house. Okay, let's come to the higher comfort area. Get our rested buff back. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a seat. <laughs> it's like a treasure hunt. I'll just take a seat at our nice little table here. Until our rested buff comes back. Because base level rested gets you 7 minutes of that rested buff, which gives you stamina regen. But then every comfort level after that gives you another minute. So just the higher comfort you can have, the better. And for such a small room, this is a pretty good amount. Deer rug gives one. Being being under a roof next to a fire gives three, so it's like four. Bed gives two, and I think each of these gives one. So yeah, that's eight. Cool. Sometimes I know, so I sometimes know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, let's repair everything. Repaired leather pants. Yeah, fine, fine bow. Let's um, upgrade that, and then that's the size we're gonna be able to get it for now, I think. I don't, yeah, we don't have any more crafting thingies for the workbench yet. We have all that we can get, so. So getting our fine wood bow up to four is as high as it's going to be able to get for now, which is fine, because, I mean, there's a bow you can make once you get to the swamp, but we're nowhere near that, so. Yeah. And with our leftover... We might have, we might work on just getting the shield to be a little better. Like the shield's not very good. But we can just it's pretty cheap to upgrade, so I think I'll just pull up give it a few upgrades. Cause you making most making many too many things out of bronze is a waste of your time, because bronze is it's better than stone, but like You don't really need like a bronze mace. Like, the axe is a good upgrade because it lets you do f get fine wood, but other than that, it's just kind of a waste of resources. Especially when this little shield can uh, be pretty good, actually. Like, it, it, previously, like it previously was, um, well, it's at, it's at its max quality because it's just kind of not a, very good, not a very good item, but yeah, the shield, um, a, a bit better now that we've just kind of thrown some resources at it. Yeah, I'm very interested in not going too far away from this boar. We might need to have a, a specific, a dedicated farming box. Which we can make at least one more chest. Let's do that. This line up with the floorboards and. Mm. A little further, a little closer. There we go. Eh, good enough. It's not to be perfect. And there's not really any good way of like aligning them to the grid like this, because they don't exactly. They're not exactly the same length as a floorboard. I wish they were, so they'd just kind of snap. But their length lets them kind of fit in places a little more snugly, and I have them as forward as possible, so I can just kind of easily access the chests when they're stacked like this uh, we can make this is kind of like the tool and overflow kind of box right now we can move we can kick the can down the road a little farther <laughs> with that uh, we're gonna throw this axe away we'll probably throw this hammer away but we're gonna keep this bow because a bow is 
really annoying to make when you first start because you need like eight of these um eight of these from just boars and those boars are annoying to find that many of them initially so it's kind of nice just to have this this bow in reserve in case something goes wrong and we lose this one which now by the way is a pretty damn strong like let's see 41 pierce damage that's like that bow is literally doing almost twice as much damage as this one granted this one could be upgraded more to make it better than what it is but eh. it just needs to be able to shoot arrows and kill things it doesn't need to be much stronger than it is this one is also for shooting arrows and killing things but difference being is um it's it's gonna be good for fighting bosses because the second boss is like this big tree dude that we'll see eventually not this stream not 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 a chance in hell but not really that far off either like once I get a bit more established, like especially with this uh, two-star boar, who's still doing a nice bit of a tame here. We oh, we can just jump. We can just jump over. Let's see, these are still growing. These will be a little bit too. But good thing about these is that you don't have to be like really close to these. They'll just keep growing in the world. So we can just like, ignore the carrots for a while and come back later, and it'll be all nice and juicy can't really do the same with the animals like the animals need uh, you have to be you have to be within render distance of them to do anything I think they'll breed when not in render distance but with taming like especially you need them to uh we're just gonna get some free sneak XP because the boar is still considered not like tamed it's like taming but it's still considered an enemy so we can get some free sneak xp from this boar while we wait for it to finish taming uh, it really shouldn't be that much longer it's like 10:42. yeah the timing of finding that boar could not have been any better we have just enough time to tame it and still do stuff like mm, awesome Awesome, awesome, awesome. This reminds me of the stuff I've been just doing in uh, DQ8 <laughs> on Monday. It's like, run like running into the wall to do alchemy recipes faster at that one place. Because there are no monsters spawn, but it's on the overworld. So you get the better time for doing your alchemy so I was just running into the wall <laughs> it's a time-honored tradition just running into the wall to, ha to gain stuff this, uh, this reminds me of stuff that you do in like Morrowind as well to, to grind like you'd also grind sneak by like doing something very similar like being near an enemy but just like walking to the wall or I don't know if it needs, needs, even needs to be an enemy. I think you can just be near someone, like, that can, like, maybe not observe you or maybe can. I can't remember the specifics, but, like, it's very similar to this, what I'm doing now, like. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But, hey, that little bit, the bits of extra sneak will help us, you know, sneak around be a little harder to, to detect. We're trying not to be seen by, like, a troll or whatever. Although, when you have the full troll armor set, you get, like, plus 15 sneak while you're wearing it, so it's, like, like, if you have some sneak and then that, you're, like, you're kind of invisible anyway, it feels like. Yeah, part of the reason I built those little divider walls is not only does it uh, keep the boar from, you know, walk, walking around everywhere and maybe getting out of the pin, but it helps obscure its vision a little bit so you can kind of sneak around and check how its taming is doing. Like, let's, let's see how it's... 71%? Uh, That's not bad. It takes 30 minutes to tame one of these things. So 
So there's like probably like eight minutes left of taming that this thing needs. Which honestly, I wouldn't really be that upset if that has to happen next stream. Because, well, I mean, I can just, you know. It's, the, the boar is safe, the boar is taming, like, everything would be fine. Yeah, it normally takes, like, three, it normally takes three food to tame a creature. But since, like, going to sleep kind of wastes that food, I put in, like, two extra so I could, like, sleep twice. Yeah, we'll stop at, like, one stamina, let our stuff fix up. And we'll just get some more sneak while we're just kind of happening. <clears throat> I apologize, it's not extremely exciting. Not like early in the stream where I was, like, roughhousing with trolls and shit, but, you know. Some days you kind of just got to do the boring stuff. Like this boar is going to be so good. Excited? What you excited for? What you excited about? Oh, we got sneak 15. Nice. The boar. Oh, yeah, the boar. It's really... It's really good that we found that when we found it, because, yeah, um, that's going to make our lives much better. Because there, there are, like, structures you can kind of build to like, kind of, like, take advantage of the spawning mechanics to where you can have, like, boar, boars just infinitely breed. Normally they can't, like, there's, like, you can only have a certain amount of them within, like, 10 meters. However... If if the if the uh, if the offspring of that boar go outside of that ten meter range, they'll just keep breeding as much as possible, and then you'll just have tons of boars, and that's the idea. Eventually, there's a design I've seen people build on YouTube quite a bit, where like you build like some like like twelve meters up, then you build like a structure, and you get the boars up there, and you start feeding them, and then you just start crapping out tons of boars and once those grow, you can cut them up and just keep breeding. It's good stuff. Uh, that's one of those. You know what? Let's let's test out our new bow. We have a we have arrows equipped. Cause you're not gonna see me, but I see you. Oh, did I just one shot? Holy shit! Yeah, that's that's why I upgraded the bow. <laughs> Cause. Yeah, it's very, uh, that bow is, this bow is way better now than what I was using. Because it does 41 damage, and backstab triples that, which means 120 damage when you backstab an enemy. As it is, that already does, just does a lot of damage. Like, those guys are giving me so much trouble earlier, but now they just don't. <laughs> They don't, they won't. Honey, the bees are sleeping. <laughs> oh yeah, I made a, I made a farming chest. Let's uh, move our farming stuff over. I include uh, the little butchering knife with farming stuff because, well, it's for farming animals. Um, we got all of our little tree seeds, and when we get more carrot seeds that are extra, we'll deal with those that way. And in here, we'll just keep all of our different kinds of wood that aren't just normal wood. Got another trophy, let's put that away in the trophy box with the other trophies. Uh, Okay, I think we used up mo the rest of our stuff otherwise for these hides and like the deer hides and whatever. Which is fine. Uh, gray dwarf eyes go in here for now. Like the most this bow can do with a backstab shot is like 66, which is great, but this thing can do um, 123. <laughs> 
Which, for a lot of those gray doors, is just like an instant death. Because they don't have that much EP. Oh, come on. Yeah, like I can just one shot that dude. Uh, let's see how far along the bore is before I, s I might do a sleep. I want to see if. 91? Oh, wow. It's been kind of just going along. I might just stay up the rest of the time until I get the message that the boar is... Like, even this one-star gray dwarf. Dead. <laughs> just instantly dead. Like, didn't even stand a chance. Any other assholes want to fucking attack my smelter or my charcoal kiln? tree down. Something I can do while we're just waiting is we can um, make, a little, make like a little fence line connecting this to this and then we can uh, push one of the adult boars over to here so I can just kind of breed the two stars over there. Oh, it's you. Hello. Dude, because he's gonna do his little his little like poison hands. Need some stamina back. Our our rest of the buff is gone, so we get stamina back a little less. Oh boy, we get a raid now too. The forest is moving. It better move. It better move a little faster. Oh, I guess this gives us something to do while the fucking board games. <laughs> this rough house with some some enemies. God, stamina is just suffering. Oh, probably because of that. Our mushroom was pretty low on time left, so the, the boat, most of the benefits from it were already gone. Let's get y'all away from our very special boar. Up, oh, boar's tamed. I was gonna try to push the, the, the log down on them. There's a lot of, up. Oh, God damn it! I keep taking the po keep, keep keep hitting getting hit by the poison. All right, let's uh go in here for a second. Should I get a rusted buff back while not being dead? Cause I gotta let them just run around. They're trying to like destroy the house or whatever. The the bees are not happy. <laughs> They're attacking the beehive like fools, and the bees are retaliating. <laughs> All right, we got a rusted buff back, so we can actually fight pretty efficiently now, and our health's back too. Kill that. Man, they are just having a great time trying to fight fight against my uh, charcoal kiln that will just get fixed in like two seconds. Ah, poison. Damn it. Alright. Brute's down. Easily the one that does the most damage other than the I'm 
mean, the shamans do a lot of damage, but only if their poison hits you. So usually it's not a, you know, a problem. You can just kind of get away from it. Alright, all the great wars are dead. The boar is tamed. Oh, they did just... No, 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 they didn't destroy one of the beehives. They kind of damaged them a bit, but... Even if they would have destroyed the beehives, it's fine, because all the stuff would drop, including the queen bee. So it literally would have made no difference. They almost destroyed that, but that's fine, because I could have just picked the stuff up again. That is one nice thing about if you get raided by those, like, kind of raids like that, is, um... Your stuff will just, it's just easy to, you know, fix everything back up. Yeah, this boar is perfectly safe. Make sure your health's fine. Yep, full health it looks like. Okay. So now, well, we did get a good amount of, nice little bit of extra wood, because the gray dwarves drop at least one wood when they die, and the higher star ones drop more. So it's not completely worth a complete waste of our time when they just show up, but yeah, we're gonna make some of these like nasty little fences like this. Straight over there to where our uh, boar pin is. We need to place down another crafting thingy. Right here, right here is fine. We need to finish breaking this down. And unfortunately, uh, the the boar, well, the boar got tamed. That's good. But like the rest of the extravaganza is probably gonna have to wait till next stream because it's 57. I gotta probably come back, come back, <laughs> come back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's just on a roll. Literally. Ooh. Did I actually get what was in here from here? I got the stuff there. There's still some stuff in there. <laughs> but yeah, this is just rolling. And I could probably finish putting up the fence at least, but... What we're essentially trying to do is make this little fence so that we can push a boar from in here into here and have the, the boars breed to make more uh, two-star boars. Can you not? There's a one-star gray dwarf. Let's check on our carrots too. Healthy. Oh, that one's done. Eh, we'll probably just save. Oh, that one just poofed. That one's the last one. It's a little bit of a late bloomer. That's okay. That's basically what we're doing is we're making like a little we're gonna make like a little path might try to flatten the ground a little bit too with that in mind Basically, do the same thing, but on the other side. <clears throat> but 
to make this process as painless as possible because these boars can and will just not do what you want them to do and <laughs> yeah we want to just make this as l least painful on us as possible let's that might be a little bit too squished and I don't want uh, Yeah, don't want them to be unable to pass through. That seems like it'd be a bad idea. So we'll just uh, do this and just kind of. Should have enough wood, especially after all those gray doors that were harassing us overnight. Should have enough wood to do this. It doesn't have to be perfect because they just they won't be able to like squeeze out of like very small gaps so it's like you just kind of have to make it where they can kind of get to their destination that will be plenty let's break this rock it's kind of just in the way anyway god this pickaxe sucks Maybe next time we can focus on trying to make a better pick, but for now, let's... Oh, hey, there's a boar right here. Oh, yeah, that's the piggy that kind of got out. But now we kind of have to get you out of the corner. I would hope you would just, like, walk towards, you know... And I could, pl I could try to ply your uh, sensibilities with some food there, little boar. See, we can jump over that, but the boar can't. Let's we'll grab some raspberries and try to just try to trick them into getting out of the corner because Oh, do you smell that? Stinky? Oh, would you look at that? You're out of the corner. Now get going. We just gotta push this fucking boar. <laughs> That's normally what you would say. might switch this around to be like this instead all right and for now since we don't have carrots yet we're gonna use raspberries because they're built they work just fine and let's grab just two They'll eat those and they'll be happy. Well, that one's still happy, so. You're gonna eat that, then they're gonna be nice and happy and they'll make little boars. Oh, they're, they're not wasting any time at all <laughs> to making little boars. How boring. Oh, they're doing hearts. Hell yeah. Day off playing games. Happy to hear it. <laughs> it's boring. <laughs> so we've got basically three shot three chances to get um We have three chances to get uh what you call them, uh a two another two star boar. Cause they'll make they'll make be able to make three piggies in that little area. Before we have to go kinda cull the herd. 
So we have a pretty good chance of getting another two-star boar for our troubles. And then once we have those, we'll be able to um, breed only two-star boars. Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to plant these seed carrots for the next stream so I can just have them kind of going. Because now that we have those six carrots, we can plant them to make six uh, seed carrots. And then those seed carrots, when they finish growing, will each give us three seeds, so we can turn our six carrots into 18. And then, through the process of growing more, we can turn 18 to, like, I think it's 54? Yeah, 54. Oh. <laughs> Just bare knuckle boxing this great... Come here. Stop running away from me. I will punch you to death. Come here. You can also you can also parry. With your just your your fists. Bow! Just punch him in the mouth. Got him. <laughs> Alright, so those are planted, those will Oh, they've 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 made child. What kind of child did they make? A one star child. I think middle kick does. I think middle click does do, do does do kick. Yeah. I was just kind of bare knuckle boxing with the gray dwarf for the hell of it. Also, hello, hello. The stream's not gonna be going much longer, but we got we got good stuff done. We got our carrots growing. We found a two-star boar that we tamed, and now we're working on getting more of those. We made the house a little bit bigger. We got a fine wood bow. We got a bronze axe. We got cultivator. Pretty good progress for, like, three hours. This game takes a lot of time. But it is fun. I quite enjoy this game. Easily one of the best, like, survival games that's come out in a long time. Like easily one of the best oh, yeah. raspberries once we get more carrots going we'll be able to use those instead of raspberries for breeding but I don't really mind using raspberries or mushrooms for breeding because I've started marking more of those on the map <sighs> A nice little house here. I like this little step down. It was kind of like a spur of the moment idea, but I'm really, I really like how it's turned out. If it, it feels very natural, they're they're making more. Oh, we got a two star piggy. Okay, so when this one grows, we'll have two two stars, and then we'll breed them and have a bunch more two stars and then the game's over we win because we'll have like tons and tons of meat and leather and stuff kind of a cramped place to build a base but I can always expand it out a little bit more let's get rid of this rock yeah I think next year one of my goals will be getting a bronze pick because it'll just be nice to have something that's a little better this. Let's see. How much more can I flatten out? At some point, I'm gonna have to start doing uh, st stone stuff to get this be more level to build more stuff up here. We'll have a portal room over this way when the time comes for that. Uh, yeah, it's it's 11:10. I gotta get going. Let me do quick. 
quit. A lot of good stuff done. I'm really, I'm really hyped that we got that boar tamed and it's already making two star piggies. It's gonna be really good for going forward. It's gonna be over the course of the playthrough. It's gonna be a lot of resources. But yeah, yeah thank y'all for coming by and hanging out with me and watching me be a fool trying to block trolls with like a piece of wood basically as for a shield. Um, now normally. Uh, my, my next stream will be on Saturday, but since I have on call this weekend at my job, I will not be, I'm not willing to do streaming on a day I'm on call, so we won't be doing big stream this week. Um, but since I wasn't able to stream yesterday, I will probably try to stream tomorrow so we can start Tales of the Abyss. But, yeah, for now, that's, for now, this is going to be our stream for today. Let me do the thing here. Where is that? There it is. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see if I can raid into someone. Let's see who's even live. Um, are you live? No, you're not live. Um, let's see. Let's see who's live right now. Uh, looks like Mavis is. Uh, looks Twitchy is playing some Kingdom Hearts. Admittedly, um, Twitchy's a lot smaller of a, v a content creator than Mavis is. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go give some love to Twitchy. She's a, she's a good she's a good little critter, good little cryptid. She they I believe. So be sure to be respectful. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end my stream here, and we'll we'll go right into Twitchy Charlie. See you there. And if I don't see you there. Hopefully I see you tomorrow, but if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you next time. Y'all have a great day.